Hey everyone, Ashton Meyer, founder of Believe to Achieve Team. And just to give you a quick little bit, if you don't know who I am or about my story, I am a mom of three and had back surgery at the age of 23. At 238 pounds, I decided to get healthy and fit, lost 100 pounds in 18 months, and then continued to progress to keep it off over the last four years. Um, went from being homeless and on assistance to um, being free from that. And yeah, so anyways, <laughs> quickly, that's my quick story. Um, I had to talk today about, we're going to talk about struggles. Because I think a lot of people will sometimes see my post and they see like, different stuff in my life and they're like, oh, your life is so awesome. You're so positive. You're so amazing. Everything is, how do you do this? And this and that. And let me tell you, I'll be the first to admit that I have days, I have moments, I have struggles. Even now, I didn't want to make this video because I was like, okay, I look completely pale. I don't have any makeup on. My sweatshirt just looks all baggy and everything. I didn't want to take the video. And I'm like, no, I need to. So, over the last couple of days or whatever, let's just say I've been in, been in my mind, you know, my mind's got to me and um, I just, I was like, all right, I feel like I'm failing. Like, you know, like I was like, I know I'm a good mom, but I feel like I'm failing. Like, I'm not getting enough done like I should be getting done. And then I think this weekend there was one day that I didn't go into my challenge group. I'm like... Man, I just failed them. I didn't even check my challenge group. I didn't check on my challengers. I didn't see how they're doing. Um, then all of a sudden, I was like, "Oh my goodness, my coaches! Did, did I? When did I last? Did, did I check on them?" And I'm like, "What am I doing?" Oh, you know, we, we have this awesome production that's coming up. Hashtag epic um, for our church at Word of Life. So if you're local, come check it out on the 20th, December 20th, uh, either nine or 11, but you know, I've got the girls that are going to be a part of um, this, that they have practice and everything, and um, then I'll be a part of it as well. And so I'm like, oh, new songs I got to learn. And I was just sitting here, I'm like, how am I going to get all this done? And we're going to be moving this month too. And I'm like, and oh, breathe. Okay. Like breathe. Like I had to sit here and just like seriously take a moment to pray. And the reason why is because we all have struggles and we all have things that we go through and we really have to take a moment to understand that that we aren't made to be perfect. We were not made to be perfect. We were made in God's perfect eye of who we are and who we should be. But nobody is perfect. Nobody gets it right all the time. Nobody's sitting there tw happy 24 seven. Like I can't sit here and be like, Oh yes, the day was perfect with the kids and everything and smile and be like, yay. When all in all reality, I was like, all right, I kind of have a little bit of a meltdown. Um, you know, maybe I raised my voice and the, or the kids were just crazy. Or, you know, if I'm like, Maybe I have, take a picture of healthy me, I'll be like, yes, I'm doing everything I need to be doing. And then I scarf down a chocolate chip, like I can't, or a chocolate chip cookie. I can't sit here and tell that stuff to you guys because that's not who I am. I'm not sitting here putting on a mask. I, I want to be real with you guys. And there was that moment over the last couple of days that I'm just like, oh my goodness, like, what am I doing? I'm like, why? Like, Lord, like, just move in my life. Like, I know that I have this big purpose. I know that I'm taking steps and steps and, and getting there. But, man, I feel like the world is just crashing down in on me. Like, what's going on? And so I'm not going to sit here and tell you everything's perfect. It's not bad. My life isn't bad. Never will be. I'll sit here and smile and, you know, and I'll go through my moments and have crying moments and this and that. But, um... You know, I'm like, I wasn't made here to be perfect. I was, I was created here to, to love God and, and love other people. And my goal is to grow to my maximum potential while helping others do that same thing. And that's what I learned from John C. Maxwell um, a few years ago, you know, and it's, 
that's what we should do. We should help build each other up and not judge each other when um, when somebody goes through something. And it's just, it's crazy when you look at the world and you look and see how it, everything is run in this world and where the majority, I mean, like money, oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that's a whole nother situation. It's But anyways, so... If you guys are going through struggles right now, I just want you to take a moment and just really take a deep breath and think about your life. Like think about the good things in your life. Think about one good thing that's going on in your life. Think about where you want to go and what you want to do and just realize that no matter what your struggle is, the biggest struggle that we had was a separation from God. And thanks to God giving us his only son, you know, Jesus sacrificed. We, I should say God sacrificed, Jesus sacrificed, you know, his life. And when I think about that after like, I'm like, okay, I'm going through this and this and this and this. And then I just take a moment to realize like what Jesus actually went through. And that like that price is paid. And, and that no matter what, like, I just got to keep going day by day by day and doing the best that I can do and asking for forgiveness and um, showing other people just love and just letting them know that, you know, you it you guys have that choice. You have that choice and just take it. So whatever struggle you're going through right now, I just want you to, to again, take a moment to think about something great in your life and to take a moment to uh, to just release it, you know, to let it go and just being like, okay, I'm not perfect, but I am here. And that's what matters. I'm here and things will get better. I just have to, instead of focusing on the result and not seeing any change because you're so focused on the result, you need to switch it around to focus on what you can change in your life to create the results that you're looking for. So I hope that you guys have an amazing, fantastic first day of September or December, and I'd love to hear your guys' December goals. Um, post them below or post post your struggle below and tell me about what you're going to do to overcome that. Have a good one.